Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Joyful Findings with me as your host. I'm glad you could join me today. There's a lot of things going on in the world. The energy shifting in your favor. Um, if you aren't right in the top of the wave, where are you at? Let's get you up there. Um, let's bring you where you need to be. Um, the energy has been kicking my butt probably for almost two hours now. Um, so today is very exciting. I'm so happy that you guys could join me. Um, if you guys have any questions, make sure to put them in the chat box. If you guys are watching from your phone, make sure you rotate your phone on the chat box. There's a little button you can hit. There's a chat box. It might cut into part of the video and stuff, but you'll be able to ask your questions that way if you so desire. Um, so yay. Thank you for joining me today. I'm so excited you guys could be here. Um, what is going on in your world? What are you changing in your world? What are you creating in your world? Um, there's just so much. The energy is like, woo, we need to just create something. They want you to create the joy you want to have in your life. Okay. So if you're not doing that, it's time to start. And if you are doing that, things might be falling into place very quickly right now. And that makes me excited uh, because everything's falling into place. And Everything happens for a reason, okay? Even if we don't know what it is at that particular moment, um, there's a lot of synchronicities that are going on right now, and a lot more people are in tune, okay? You guys are paying attention. Woohoo! Yeah, ask your questions in the chat. Comment over there on the little box over there. Um, so things are starting to really shift for people, right? You're starting to find what you really want in life. You're really starting to stand up for yourself. Oh, and speaking of that, while I'm talking about that, I'll pull this thing up. So right before I started my show and before I got on here to um, um, do my show here today, I'm doing it from my lanai, as you can see by my background. Um, and as I walked out the door, there was this egret sitting on top of the car. And I'm like, hey, buddy. And then I walked out the door to try to get his picture. And, and then he flew down into the street. But that's OK. He didn't trust me enough to stay there. But that's OK. He still showed up to give me the message that he needed to give me. And it was a message that I need to share with all of you today. So of course I got out my trusty phone and I looked up the meaning of egret. So I'm gonna share that with you, okay? Egret teaches you, teaches to stand in the physical and the spiritual world. He teaches healing on the emotions in, in the order to bridge the heart and the mind. Ooh, that's very important now too. Egret helps look deeper into the aspects of life brings out innate wisdom and shows how to become self-reliant. Egret is sharp, direct, and to the point. So how appropriate is that for today's show? Um, because it's about you gapping both worlds, right? Heaven and earth, right? Physical and spiritual world. Um, because we get so humid sometimes, right? We get really stuck in that, um, whew, that humanness. That's the best way for me to describe it. Um, and now we are starting to find both right we're starting to understand both we're starting to have more of a the better understanding of how this relates in our life um so that's fantastic and i hope that's happening for you um and also about being direct and standing in our power and also understanding what our powers are um as we move forward it's still about uncovering what they are right no one has uncovered everything that they know about themselves or the universe yet um, in this human form. We're still like unfolding all that. Don't you feel that? Like we're still getting to the bottom of it, but we're getting closer and closer. Um, and it's funny because I talked to an old friend this week and we talked about going down the rabbit hole. Okay, so how far down the rabbit hole have you gone? And I kind of made a joke about it last night. I was like, oh, I know my way around the rabbit hole. I jump in, I swim around, I know my way around. So it's like, how much do you know about what's in the rabbit hole? So dig deep, it's going within, right? That's where the rabbit hole really is, is going within and uncovering all of that. So I look forward to finding out what you guys are finding out about yourselves. And have no fear when you go in there. You know what I mean? It might seem like it's dark, unknown, but isn't that everything? Have no fear. Okay, awesome. I love that. Um, so I'm excited you guys showed up today. Um, the energy is pretty intense. As you can tell, I can't sit still. The energy is bouncing me all around. Um, that energy is flowing out to all of you. Just please use it to whatever advantage you need to. Let go, clear, whatever, expand, whatever it is you need to do. Um, see, you can see I was like expanding. I was like, woo, the heart chakra is wide open. So it's like, how are you all feeling, right? Um, let's see what else they have. What else has been going on this week? Um, 
it's been an interesting week energetically. I'm getting a lot done. I've been clearing out my house some more. Um, you know, getting rid of that old stuff. I'm like purging like crazy. I'm going through every room and then I'm going through every room again. And I'll probably go through them again um, just because I want to have less stuff. Um, and it seems like it takes it in motions for us to be able to get rid of it, right? So it's like purge one, purge two, purge three. Um, and three seems to be my magic number um, since I am a March baby and born on the 30th. So I have threes in my numbers. Um, and threes were also very important to me in my awakening. So I feel like that's important too. Um, so when I was starting to awaken 10, 11 years ago, I would see 333 three, three everywhere. I would see it on the clock. I would see it on the back of police cars. Um, I would see it at the convenience store. I would see it randomly in just all every place. So, um, so whatever you used or whatever your sign was to help you awaken, just know that there's more to learn beyond that. There's more to learn beyond that. And then there's more to learn beyond that. We never stop learning. Okay, we never stop learning. So um, just keep learning everything that you love and feels good um, and that you can use, okay? Because sometimes that's important too. Sometimes we learn things um, not because we need to, but we need to be in that group to learn something from that group. Um, so there's lots of things going on, lots of different learning going on. People are really starting to identify with who they really are um, and that they're standing in their power. I had a few readings this week um, where the people were like, I finally stood in my power. I finally stood up for myself. Um, so I feel like this is very important to you. So if you feel like you still need to stand up for yourself, whether it's at a job, your relationship, um, whatever it might be, um, you know, just do it. Just stand up for yourself um, and see what happens. Okay, because uh, one lady, um, she stood up for herself and um, um, she lost her job, but she, it, she didn't like the job anyway. So it was like a blessing in disguise, but her energy needed to be within that space to create something before it moved on, if that makes sense. Because sometimes we don't always understand why our energy is where it is. Um, and sometimes we don't have to understand. There are so many things happening on so many different levels um, that we just don't understand it all. There, our human brain can't comprehend all of that at once. And depending on what belief system you're still holding on to, um, it may not be easy to comprehend at all. So I feel like more purging going on. Um, Julia says, good afternoon, everyone. I need to stand up for myself, but it involves family and they're the only family I have. Yes. And this doesn't always make it easy, but you, your family will always be your family, even if you stand up to them. Okay. It's like setting boundaries. Okay. Um, Setting boundaries is like setting, you know, because people like to encroach on our space, right? It's like they come in and they want to control us and do whatever. And now we're going, no, we are in our space. I put my bubble up and you're in your space out there. And just standing up for yourself doesn't mean that it's going to create um, the, the, the chaos that you might think it is. Just put good intentions out there that I'm going to stand up for myself and this is going to work out for the best of everyone because not only do you have lessons to learn, but the rest of your family does too and you're helping them learn that. Um, so don't be afraid to step into that, okay, and enjoy that because it's actually really kind of cool. Um, I've had to learn to do that with my own family through the years too. So Oh, you're so welcome. Um, it's like, you know, we have to do sometimes the hardest things that we've never had to do before or never wanted to do or had fear of doing it because of the outcome or anything like that. So now it's like we're starting to stand in our power. And when we do that and we stand in our in our truth, we start creating the lives that we truly want. Right. We start creating those relationships with our family that are beneficial to us rather than taking from us. So it's like we are in control now. That's the part that I'm trying to empower into all of you. You are in control of yourself. Everyone else is control of themselves. So what do you want to do in your life that's going to make you happy? Okay. And also where we're connecting more of the physical and the spiritual realms, like the Egret was teaching us in the beginning. Um, combine the two, connect the two, start using the two. Start using this so that it actually makes sense of what's going on in the world because there's a lot of things going on out there that are not making sense to people and it's not supposed to until you can actually start putting two and two together, if that makes sense. Um, and you can see they're swirling those around. So <laughs> I don't know what those little portals are or something. Um, see, they always have me moving around. It's always fun. 
And again, I want to say thank you guys for joining me. And if you guys ever want to contact me, there's a little button right down there that says Melissa's website. Um, that'll keep you up to date on some of the things that I'm doing or um, that'll let you get in contact with me also if that's something you so desire um, because I'm open for business. <laughs> um, so let's see what else they want to share with you today. It's an amazing day. Um, it's funny because when I started the... the, the um, doing my automatic writing a little bit today so they started so you guys could see this so I, I wrote in sharpie this time so you guys could actually read it but they're very very excited to be here um and they just want us to keep rocking on right and then the excitement right they have all this love and excitement they have going on and they're like woohoo let's do this and this was another one that they had me write too because they want you to know that joy and love is all around you um, and it's what you're creating. And I love how they actually made this heart right here so that it looked like an infinity. So it's always constantly going, even though there's kind of a break there. But it doesn't matter because it's like what you're creating, right? You're creating that joy and then you're just going to create that keep coming, right? And it's going to keep coming, right? So it's funny because I, I tapped into the um, Angels and Healing show with Laura yesterday on the, uh, from the same producer. Um, and Laura gave me an amazing message. And I was really just looking for validation or anything that I might need to clear up because I still reach out um, for validation and questions also, right? Because I'm just like everybody else. Um, so when I reached out and that message was just amazing and it was like Arch Archangel Michael was all around me protecting me and all these things and just new things and that I was listening to my intuition and I'm just really flowing with it. And you can see that I am because I'm, this is all flowing and you guys are starting to do the same thing. So I wanna share part of my message so that it helps you because I feel like you are getting all the help that you're asking for. So ask your angels and guides for help if that's what you something that you need in your life um, to help move you forward because it's about us moving forward okay um so moving forward what are you creating for yourselves because you're in charge right you're in the driver's seat you are the only one in the driver's seat if you're still giving that power up to someone outside of you i ask you to please pull it back and allow yourself to be back in your own driver's seat and have no fear people that's one of the things that are kind of holding us back too is there's this fear that we had been taught in this lifetime on so many different levels on to fear so many different things and really we don't have to fear any of them so it's about releasing those fears it's about releasing those beliefs it's about creating this new world that we're in right we started a new year a new decade the, the age of Aquarius, right? I'm going to throw that out there too. They're like all this newness, but what are we creating? And it's funny because I had a friend ask me this week something about, you know, um, are we going to fix this? And I go, we're, re we're, we're rewriting time now. We're rewriting everything now. That's funny. <laughs> 11, 11, I, yes, I get caught up in fear at times. Stop, 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 stop. No more fear. I say, look it in the face and walk through it, okay? It's because it's imaginary. Really, it is. Um, it's as imaginary as everything else in this world. And I've started to recognize that a lot, too, because I open up all these little things and energy, and I whip things around people in my little papers and stuff and hearts and stuff. And energetically, that's magic. Okay, so everything that we do and think is magic, good or bad. So you got to be mindful of where your mind's at, right? You got to be happy. You got to be joyful. Even when it looks like a dark cloud, make it shiny. Um, it's going to bring rain. Okay, so it's going to help feed the earth. Um, it's not forever. So just walk through it and be like, all right, I got this. I got this. Um, so I'm excited. I'm excited. Um, and then you can tell because I can't stop moving. They're like moving me every which way. So it's like so much fun. Um, let's see. Anyone, no one's asked any questions yet, but, uh, oh, Julia says, I like using the infinity sign too. Well, that's good because you're wanting that constant flow. So you guys are, what kind of flow are you in? Right. I asked in the beginning, are you on top of that wave or are you still somewhere in the middle the bottom, wherever? Let's pull you all up to the top. Let's all go to the top together. Okay. Cause we're all in this together and I want you all to come with me. I want us all to go to all these happy places together. And you can feel that as I'm moving that energy around. Right. Too. Cause I was like, Oh, that felt kind of weird. Um, so I hope you guys are feeling 
feeling that at home too. If you are, just comment in the little box there just so I can know if you guys are feeling the energy or not um, because the, it's amped up. <laughs> uh -huh. I know Tiffany was feeling it earlier. Um, so I'm just checking in to see what you guys are feeling and what you guys are doing. And let's see what else is going on in this world. Okay, January is almost over. First month of 2020, people. Oh my God, there's only a couple days left. Um, so I hope you've made the most of it. I hope you made the changes that you've needed to make and that you are standing in your power, you're standing in your truth, and you're letting your heart and your love flow. You are love. You got to let it flow. Okay. And I've come into realization again this week that we have a lot of stuff maybe in our past that we still need to let go of. Um, and I feel like it's time to really let go of that. So if you guys in your mind's eye or even in your mind or in your heart, wherever you have these attachments to things that no longer serve you, let's release them. They just been cut off and they're gone. I feel a lot lighter. I must've helped somebody out there. Um, so it's like, woo, release that and allow. Um, so you can stand fully in your power and start to create. And I don't know what I just did, but I just opened up this portal of heat. Woo, they're making me really hot now. So I hope you guys are feeling that too. Um, Julie asked, do you feel like 2020 will be the year I relocate? Thank you. Julia, I believe that 2020 is the time for you to relocate. I don't think you have completely um, picked out your spot yet, like pinpointed it. But yes, there is a lot of movement in 2020. So if you guys are planning on moving, getting new jobs, there's a lot of movement and the universe is supporting all these moves. Okay, so have no fear against them either. I think that's what's been holding you back from the move a little bit. So you're going to release that so you can move. Um, so with all that, it's like all these things in 2020 is like moving forward. And it's like we're on the fast track, people. I feel like it's like taking off. We are like in a rocket and we are taking off. We are ready to go. And a lot of us have been sitting at the gate waiting. We've been waiting for a long time. We've been ready. We've been saying we're ready. Um, but more people are getting ready. And I have to know, I have to tell you this week too, that there's been a lot of people that are making advances this week. So, you know, it's like, okay, so energetically, we're all connected, right? So we're all connected to our higher selves. And sometimes we learn and then we stay at certain levels because we feel comfortable there. We know it. It's good. OK, so I've heard this week that some of the people I know that have been kind of on plateaus for certain amounts of time have stepped off their plateau. So that means they've opened up themselves and they have jumped off the cliff, too. And they are trusting. OK, and they're going even higher and higher because we haven't even begun to connect who we really are yet. Um, we are only just touching the surface of that in these human bodies. Um, and I have goosebumps as I say that. So, you know, I was just hot a minute ago, so it's hard to have goosebumps. Um, so that's just validation. So we have no idea how powerful we are yet. And we're all doing it. I think it's coming on slowly so that we don't make mess ups like we done before, have done before, um, because we have, um, have done that before. <laughs> uh, but now we're trying to make it right. We're rewriting history, so to speak, and we're making things right. We're making things more loving. We're creating Earth into this loving being that we all want to be. Um, there's going to be less fear. There's going to be less fear about money. There's going to be less war. There's going to be less, less, less of all the negative stuff and more love, 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 love. Oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, Laura says, I love everything behind you. It feels like home for you amongst all the plants and happy flowers. Great me messages, Earth Angel. Why, well, thank you. And I am outside. I am on my lanai. So this is part of my lanai. So I'm sharing part of my decorations with you. I feel like I'm going to move around until I find my spot and it all depends on the weather and what time of day and all that fun stuff. But I thank you. Thank you. Thank you for loving that. So yeah, because they each have meaning, like there's sun, there's sunflowers, right? There's growth in the flowers. And this one behind me is an angel plant. You can't even see it, but Buddha's behind me too. So I got like woo, woo, extra power back there. Um, and he's a laughing Buddha too. So that's probably why I'm like, woo, can't sit still. Um, so yeah, I'm so excited that you guys can join me. And I'm glad you tapped in today, Laura. Awesome. Thanks for tapping in. Um, do you have any questions today? I can answer for you. <laughs> um, um, let's see what else is happening in the world. It's like they're making me hot again. So I hope you guys are feeling all this wonderful energy out there um, because they keep shifting it up for us. 
let's go up the levels together. Let's go together. I don't want to go alone. I want you guys to come with me, okay? So let's keep going and see where we end up. And moving forward, if you guys have expectations of what it's supposed to look like, I say don't. This is how we're moving forward, people. We are trusting and we have faith. Um, so there's not that vision. There's not that map that we had always hoped there would be. Um, even Laura talked about that on her show yesterday. I always wanted in the beginning, I was like, can I just get the map so I can see that I'm on the right track and that I'm going? Um, that map is inside of us. That map is our heart center, our soul center. And you can see they keep changing up the energy with that. So some of you are connecting in with that right now. You guys are starting to connect in more with your heart center. You are connected. You are staying connected. You are being more love. You are letting go of all that no longer serves you. And this makes us so excited. And by us, I mean all of them. Um, because they are all here today and I knew they were all coming. So that's all my guides, your guides, healing guides, angel guides, you name it, ascended masters. We got them all. We got everybody. We got galactic beings. We have everything. I have so many councils that are here that they are all with you right now. And you guys can feel that, right? Because the goosebumps are happening. Um, so you guys tap into all that you need to tap into. Take away with what you need. Re only with what resonates with you, because sometimes I can talk above people, sometimes depending on what it's about. Um, so just know that you take what resonates with you and leave behind the rest, um, because it's all up to you. It's like opening up that divine map inside of you. Aww. You're opening up that... <laughs> I'll read that in a minute. You're opening up that design map in front of you so you know where you're going. You're trusting yourself. You have faith in yourself. You're just, oh, they're just bringing so much joy for you and so much excitement for all of you. This is so exciting. This is so exciting. I'm so excited. Oh, oh Laura, I love you. You are on a roll. Whew. I'd love an angel message. Oh, bringing tears to my eyes. All that love. Oh. They have so much love to give, and we have so much love to share. Okay. All right. So let's see what I got for you today, Laura. Huh. Huh. All right, Laura. Um, you are getting ready to shift into different gears my, yourself, dear. Um, you are changing your mind about things that you thought you wanted to do, that you don't want to do, that you did want to do. It's kind of like you had that little decision thing going on, and now it's like, Ooh, you're going ahead. There's going to be lots of changes for you in 2020, but they're all going to be fabulous changes for you. Um, they're showing me like you just set out the intention and bam, it's there. Bam, it's there. It's like there's nothing to stop you now except for yourself. And you're not even doing that anymore. So you're beyond that now, you know. And it's almost like your angels are giving you the big push. You know what I mean? I, I feel like they're they're supporting you, but they're kind of nudging you a little bit too. Um, and this is going to be fabulous for you. Um, and I'm excited. Look, it's 122. That's exciting too. So there, there's some number for you too. So it's like, it, okay, they're just showing me that magic is going to happen for you. You are going to connect in with higher guides. You are going, they're showing me you jumping levels. Like, um, it's almost like you were on um, rock climbing, which is kind of funny, or it felt like you'd been doing that kind of, but now it's just like, whew, whew. you're just like, Oh, that was easy. Let's do that again. Um, but now you're going to have a lot of fun as you bring that forward. And your messages are going to be even more spot on than they were before because you nailed my message yesterday, girlfriend. You nailed it. So you guys all check out Laura's show on Tuesdays. She's in a radio show right now. So call into her show on Tuesdays at 11 a.m. She's fantastic. Um, I, that's who I call in for my show <laughs> to get my messages. Um, so I hope that was helpful for you, dear. Um, there's going to be lots of excitement. I'm excited for you because they're like, wee, wee. they're throwing a party for you already. So I'm excited to see where that takes you. <laughs> huh, you are welcome. You are welcome. Oh, I tell you what, I get so amped up when I get ready to get on this show. And this is how I get when I do readings, too. It's so funny because I can't be um, around a lot of people because I get really loud and excited. Um, my voice just gets louder and louder and louder. I, I don't know. 
I annoy people when we're doing psychic readings and they're like, we're in a crowd and I'm still loud. Um, but it's so exciting. I guess my guides want to talk over everyone so they definitely hear the message. Uh, but the excitement that comes through too is also through them, from them, and just through me. Um, I am just that channel. I am that open channel for you so that you can empower yourselves to move forward. And I figured that's part of my biggest job here is to empower all of you to move forward with love and grace in your heart so you can start making those choices that make you absolutely happy and just like woo, you are just like rocking and rolling because that's what this is all about right it's about joy and love right they want me to show you this again joy and love are you creating that in your life there's more to be had um so it's like you are the creators okay don't listen to any outside creators because there are creators in their own world so you just listen to your little creator right here right here right here well more here than here uh because we still fight with these two <laughs> <laughs> um, because we are human. So it's like we're starting to expand outside of that. So I'm excited. I, I mean, I really am. You guys can feel it. It's like, whoo, I'm sweat starting to beat off me and everything um, because the energy is so strong. So there's lots of healing taking place. There's lots of cord cutting taking place. There's a lot of things that are happening right now as you guys are watching now or in the future. Um, it doesn't matter it's as long as you listen and you are letting it go and seeing a beautiful future in front of yourself um, because it's time for you to make it happen. The only person that can make it happen is you. Um, and I'm just here for good advice, you know, to give you that little push and be the encouragement uh, to keep going um, because you guys got this. You got this. We got this together, right? We're all in this together. Um, sometimes it feels like we're very alone. But if you guys remember, we're all connected, right? I am you. You are me. Um, so we are connected. This is why it makes it easy for us to read each other. And this is how it's getting easier for us to talk telepathically, because even though I don't say it out loud, you might hear something for me in your daytime or in your dream time I show up in people's dreams all the time um, and I show up in people's days during the day too they're like hey I heard you say this to me um, so it's kind of strange how that happens but I could have been thinking about them in that moment going knowing about whatever situation they might be going through and some of it I don't even know some of it's just my higher self doing what my higher self does okay so sometimes we don't always have the answers right but we always want answers we're getting closer to them I have to admit, we are getting closer to them. <laughs> oh, this is so fun. You guys got to excuse me. I have to have a little drink. So with all of that going on in our world, 2020 is awesome, right? And 2020 is about us creating, which is awesome. And it's funny because when someone mentioned that it was 111 earlier, um, actually, if you add nine and two together, it's an 11 day. Um, I'm always looking at numbers, seeing what's happening. I always seem to do things on double digits or spiritual days of some sort, <laughs> in my opinion, because all numbers are spiritual. Um, so what else is shaking in your world? What else are you guys going to make happen in 2020? Um, because the, the, all the doors are wide open. Which door do you choose? You can choose door one, choose door two, choose door three. Which one do you want? Because now you get to choose. OK, it's all your choice, your choice, your choice, your choice, your choice. See, I keep putting this back on you. That's most important because it comes back to you all the time. Right. How do you feel about yourself? How are you loving yourself? Are you taking good care of yourself? Are you do have good self care? Are you still giving too much of your time to others and not taking care of yourself? Um, because that's very important that you need to look at that. And if you're not loving yourself, look at yourself and find out why you're not loving yourself and start creating that love for yourself so you can start to expand more out of that heart chakra, okay? Because I'm going to talk about that again. So, Okay, so expanding outside of that heart chakra, feeling all that love all the way inside of you, your soul self, this human body is just the vessel that you chose to put it in on this earth plane. In another plane, you are something else, completely, entirely something different. We are energy. We are love. We are love, love, love. Love is going to be the most powerful word you can use. And I notice that's starting to pop out in more people's um, posts on Facebook, too. They're starting to share more things about love. They're starting to share less negativity. So this is me getting the idea that people are starting to wake up more and they're not putting out that negative crap anymore. And they're going to put out more love, right? Um my glasses keep falling off. I'm going to have to take them off for a little bit. Um, so it's about standing in our love. It's about standing in our truth. It's about standing in our vibration. It's about 
being who we need to be, right? And we're still uncovering those layers, right? We're that onion uncovering those layers, right? When I first started out, I was probably like this big ball of yarn, right? And now we keep on that wrapping a layer, right? And then I keeps getting smaller and smaller. As it gets smaller and smaller, right? We're gonna find out who's here. Who is this? Who am I really? I mean, I'm dying to really find out. <laughs> um, but it's sooner or later, I will. It will make more sense because again, right? All through our lives, we've been correct, collecting the breadcrumbs, right? And the breadcrumbs make that piece of the puzzle, right? Of that map we're trying to make so we understand it. Um, and now we're putting those, starting to put the pieces together and everything's starting to make much more sense to us um, and more sense to you, which is fantastic. So start understanding more, start looking into more, do more research if you have to, to understand more. Do not take the word of another human being until you do your research and really feel into it. Um, this is very important in this day and age that you don't just trust anymore. You trust here first, even if it's a written word, spoken word. I'm always discernment is the word okay that's the word they want me to use discernment and everything that you're looking at how does that make me feel that's what I always tap into how's that making me feel today how is that making me feel tomorrow do I believe that in my heart do I believe that to be true um, because I'm finding out a lot of things that I thought were true were not true so that's why I say that um, so I just want you all to be careful and be be uh, aware of what you should be paying attention to which is everything right everything pops up for a reason you know, you might be thinking about someone and all of a sudden they call you or you're thinking, da, 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 I might run into somebody at the grocery store when I go there. And then you do when you run into you go to the grocery store. So just things like that are taking place. You know what I mean? We're being more in the know and you need to really trust yourselves on that. Um, I had an incident last week where I did that. I was like, all right, I need to go get gas and then I need to go to the grocery store. And on my way to get gas, because I was going to get that first, I go, well, should I go to 7-Eleven because it's closest or should I go up to Racetrack? And they're like, no, go up to Racetrack because they actually turned my wheel and I went to Racetrack and I filled my car. And it's funny because here comes the number things again. So as I'm pulling out of the Racetrack, there is a taxi there and its number is all fours. Literally, I can't make this stuff up all fours. And I'm like, all right, cool, cool, cool. So I go into the grocery store and halfway through the grocery store, I run into my friends. Um, so it was really cool that I automatically knew inside my head that I was going to be running into somebody that I knew. Um, so it's like, um, you know, we know, we just know. So just know that you're going to start knowing more. Okay. Um, and it's kind of cool when it happens. Um, I, I think it's exciting because it's like instant validation almost on the things that you're thinking or you're feeling. Um, so it makes it kind of exciting too. So if this is happening for me, I know it's happening for some of you guys too. So I hope you guys are finding that exciting too. Let's see. I am so excited. Um, they want to say that because it's like they're throwing a party and I can feel like little um, fireworks going off in my heart, like all these little bursts going off. So you guys are doing fantastic work out there. Keep it going. Um, you guys are making great progress. There's a lot, there's going to be a lot of progress as we move forward. Um, there's going to be a lot of things that are going to start working out in ways we never even imagined. Um, so let go of whatever expectations you have, because sometimes those hold us back. Um, they just want you to like kind of get pushed into that future. Um, we're all standing on that ledge, right? We're all standing on the edge of the cliff going, I don't know if I have wings. I don't know if I can do this. I don't know if I can trust myself. Just like the baby bird, fly, your wings work. Your wings work. Don't forget that. Your wings work. I don't know whose voice that was just now, but your wings work. <laughs> Okay, so they really want to start channeling through me. That usually only happens when I trance, when they change my voice that much. Um, so someone must be a strong power wanting to come through today and chat with you guys. <laughs> that sounded like a woman. <laughs> Too funny. Um, and maybe someday I'll do that for you. Um, I don't know. I kind of do it this way anyway, so I don't really have to go way deep back in there. Um, so whoever it is is allowed to come through if they so desire. Um, so anyways... 
he just never know what's going to happen with me. <laughs> um, I never know what's going to happen with me. Um, you know, energetically, the more that I get in tune, the more that I connect, the more that I stay connected, the more that I understand, the more that I am calm, the more that I am at peace, the more that I understand. And if this is happening me for me, this can happen for you. And I hope this is happening for you um, because it's time. It's time to feel totally different, right? Uh, it's like my producer said in the beginning of the show, it's like a new Melissa. Um, and it is. I feel new. I feel really new. I feel, see, and they just made me burp. So that, no, just so you know, when that happens, the energy is changing up. Whenever you have to burp, cough, and sometimes fart, it happens too. Um, that's helping you change up whatever energy needs to be changed up, okay? I know it sounds awful, but it's part of life. Um, but it's like changing it up. It's like regurgitating it almost, getting it out. Um, that's cutting the cords too. I felt like we just let something else go, so that's awesome. But now it's about connecting, connecting. Let's stay connected to our higher selves. Let's create the love and the joy that we want to have in our lives um, because now is the time. It's always now. It's not the past. It's not our future yet. What are you creating right now? Now, what are you creating now? Love, joy, happiness, all the fun and excitement that you want to have in your life? Yes, yes, yes. Um, so let's see what else they would like to share with you all today. They're so excited. I mean, I feel like they're throwing a party. I mean, if you guys can see, I'm asking you guys out there because I know there's at least seven of you watching. Um, if you guys can see energies and things like that, are you guys seeing anything? Are you guys feeling anything? This is almost like pop quiz number two because I th think I ran the first one last week. But I'm, I'm going to throw some of these things on you. I want to know what you guys are feeling. I want to know what you guys... Ooh, when I said that, someone's heart opened up again. So just let it open. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. Allow your gifts to um, unfold in front of you. Let them benefit you because they're here to benefit you. They're here to help you. Um, so open, open. Um, they're excited about that because more of you are just like ding, 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 opening all over the place. So keep opening um, and enjoy that. And a lot of the changes are leading us in new directions, right? Um, so it could be like a new job. It could be new relationships. It could be new friendships. It could be, you know, new cars. All these things are changing. Like, I feel like it's like, it's almost like I always say, like, if we had the dining table set up and I took the, the, the um, tablecloth and I just flung everything up in the air and I go, all right, only take back what you really want. And the rest will stay floating in the air. It doesn't fall down and crash because this is my reality, not yours. Oh, that's awesome. Laura says my aura looks like quicksilver. Oh, that's kind of cool. <laughs> um, but it's like, you know, it's like awesome stuff, you know, as we start to stand in more of this and start to let our abilities unfold for us and start to understand them more. Auras. When I first started seeing auras again, and then I started seeing the auras of the trees, it almost blew my mind um, to see the outline of the trees. And I was like, oh, my God, that's so amazing. So I want you guys to open your eyes more. You know, sometimes it's the third eye. So it's going to open for you. Uh, so you can see better. Um, I feel like everyone's more connected. I also feel like everyone is hearing more because my ears felt clogged in the beginning, but I feel like they're more open now. So I think if you guys are hearing things too, that looks awesome. Um, and also just knowing, right? It's our knowing. We know everything already. We know it all inside. We hear right here. We know it all. Um, not as a being at like an egotistical that we know it all and we're going to make it happen. No, no, no. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking we know it all on how to make this nice. We know how to make this right. We know how to make this loving. We know how we know a lot more than we let on. OK, just know that more of you are starting to open that up. And the more that I tap on that, the more we open it up. Um, so it's like woo, 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 woo. Um, these radiating vibes coming out of you from your heart through you. Um, and you're touching everyone with your light. So keep sharing your messages with people. Even if they think you're too woo-woo, share them anyways. Um, it's very important because sooner or later they'll be asking you why, how you know what you know. Um, because you'll be like, woo, you'll be on top of the wave and they'll kind of be down here because they don't believe you. Um, so keep talking your talk as long as it's your truth. Uh, and have fun with that. And have fun with that. Um, sometimes it's not fun because people think we're totally crazy, but we're not, 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 uh, we're totally sane. Uh, we're totally in tune. 
Um, we're totally aware um, and we're becoming more mindful of it. So that's the exciting part that we're starting to understand that more and becoming more mindful. So wee, wee, wee. Um, I'm excited. You guys should be excited too. Boy, you guys are kind of quiet today. Um, does the cat have your tongue? Or are you just not sure what to ask? Or I just keep saying all the right things, so it's working for you. Because uh, sometimes I do that, too. Sometimes you don't even have to ask me the question. And telepathically, I'm already talking about whatever it is that's involved with. Um, so just know everything happens for a reason, um, which is way cool, too. So let's see what else is going on. Uh, da, 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 da. There's lots of energy going on. They're going to make me dance. Yeah. You are saying, channeling all the right things. Thank you, Goldilocks. Thanks, Tiffany. Um, I usually do. I never know what I'm going to say when I start the show. I was even telling Tiffany before we started, I'm like, yeah, I still don't know what I'm talking about. It just, I just, they turn on. I know I start vibrating before it happens. Um, and I know that it's going to be very important, whatever it is, because it's going to help you and to empower you because that's my purpose is to empower you. I want everyone to be empowered to do what they need to do so it's like amazing how many people are actually listening and starting to do it for themselves I'm seeing it more and more on a daily basis now which makes me so happy and I have clients from here all the way you know in Canada and I'm seeing all the changes from here there and everywhere so it's so fun to watch all these changes in the people and how they're moving forward and making real joy in their lives so it's so exciting so exciting. So excited. <laughs> Christopher's coming out now. Come here, honey. You want to say hi? No. Not today. Okay, go get me the what I need, please. <laughs> Being a mom. Okay. Thank you, sweetie. Okay, so being a mom, you know, I took it is on my big computer. Go get what I need for you. So, anyways. Christopher always has to add his energy. I'm surprised it took him this long because the last few shows he was right there in the beginning. Uh, I probably have put separated a big wall between us this time so he couldn't feel the energy right away. Um, so that's so funny. Um, my kid, I love him. Um, he's a very powerful being too. That's why he's in my life. That's why he shows up in these. Um, let me have him, honey. So that's why he shows up in my little videos to be a part of these thing with you all. <laughs> they can't see you when you're peeking that way. <laughs> Thank you, sweetie. Okay, so um, here, take these inside. Thank you. Um, so anyways, all with all that being said, my little son here is a little jam. He's full of energy. He doesn't, even when he was a baby, he wouldn't sleep. 45 minutes was like the longest I could get him to sleep because he always felt like he was missing out on something. And he always knew when there was negative energy around. Even when he was a baby, um, he would like just start crying. Just And I would be like, all right, we have to clear the room. I had to clear a whole house one day because I didn't know which one it was. I was like, y'all need to leave. He can't handle whatever it is. Now he knows how to protect himself, but as an infant, he didn't. Um, so even our children, so if you guys have children, notice how they're changing too. And notice how powerful they are, right? Um, and if you don't have children, maybe it's your animals. Maybe it's your cats and your dogs. Or maybe it's someone in your family that you're starting to notice is more powerful than they were before. Because we're all changing. It's not just me and you. It's everybody, whether they like it or not. See, they're changing that up again. Sorry. <laughs> um, but it's about changing it up so that we can create new, right? Because we've already done the old. The old doesn't make us happy. So the creating of the new is what's going to make us happy. Okay? So you are in charge of making yourself happy. Okay? You are in charge of doing what you need to do to make yourself happy. Um, so I'm putting that power back in your hands again, which I love doing. It's like I'm taking the reins and I'm giving them back to you um, because someone else had them for you. Um, because I know for a long time people had my reins. I let them just steer me all over the place. And now, no, no, that doesn't work for me. That doesn't make me happy. Um, so it's about finding what makes you happy. And I've had a lot of people go, I don't know. I don't know what makes me happy. I go, well, start with one thing. Do you like reading? Do you like spending time alone? Do you like being with people? Whatever it is, it, it, it doesn't have to be like this humongous, oh my God, I'm gonna figure out my life purpose all at once. 
but start with one thing that you enjoy and make those baby steps on creating more and more in your life. And if you're an artist, I feel like you artist people out there are creating outside of what your realm that you were in before. I feel like there's new creativity coming through. I feel like there's new information that's starting to flow through. I, I It's like all this new information. That's what they're showing me. It's like a reel. The woo, woo, woo. Laura says that explains a lot. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad. Because um, again, as Melissa, I don't know what I've said to you. So I always go back and Kind of, I never go back and watch my shows, so I hope you guys enjoy them. Uh, I think I've watched one, um, but I do well. I think I'm doing well. Um, and, you know, it's like as long as I channel and don't think about Melissa because it was Melissa that held me from getting on this camera for so long because of fears and doubts and everything else. And, boy, won't I look silly or whatever. Um, and I conquered that fear because now here I am in front of you. Not only am I doing this live show, but I have started a YouTube channel whenever I feel the need to get a video out there to share. Um, so it's like me stepping outside of my comfort zone. So you guys are going to be starting to step outside of your comfort zone too, right? I always talk about this. We always get like in this little box, right? Maybe it's a nice little, you know, Christmas box or a present for somebody, or maybe it's your present, but you're keeping yourself locked up inside of it. And I either say, let the walls fall down and just let everything be free or the universe is going to crank you up like the jack in the box and you're going to get swung out of your comfort zone. Uh, so you have choices there. <laughs> um, I choose now to let the box fall down and just walk out of it nice and easy rather than pa -pow! Well, I don't know where we're going to end up when that happens, but you always end up in the right place at the right time. Um, and that's why so many things are happening right now that are starting to make sense for you. And um, they're showing me like this little timeline and everything's starting to fall into place and make more sense for you and you're starting to create more love and that joy in your life and there's just so much that you're taking control of because again they're showing me the reins they're showing me the steering wheel whatever feels good to you i must be talking about reins because laura's on here and she's a horse lover um and then the rain then we also got steering wheels so we must have some race car drivers out there too plus we all have to drive sooner or later <laughs> um so it's like whatever it is that you need to control is you are in your hands again okay and again they want me to teach you guys about protection right because there's a lot of negative things going on out there um so i like to picture myself like glenda the good witch and the wizard of oz in my pink translucent bubble you know i can see out people can see in but the negativity has to stay outside of my bubble they can enjoy it all day long but i don't have to feel any of it anymore i don't have to absorb any of it and none of you do either so remember to bubble up i feel like it's as important as breakfast lunch and dinner <laughs> um so Let's see what else is shaking in your world. Because I feel like everyone's world's being shaken up a little bit. They must be using that for a reason. Shake it up. Um, shifting things around, too. Not only just shaking it up, but shifting it around. Um, and Mother Earth is doing something crazy, right? Um, so y'all heard about the earthquake yesterday, right? 7.7 .7 down there by Jamaica. Um, what's going on with Mother Earth? What are you guys feeling from all that? I feel like something's ready to pop up. Um, I feel like we're ready to have some more information come out. And I think Mother Earth is trying to help us with that. Um, I know that sounds kind of strange, but maybe not to some of you. Um, so anyways, Mother Earth is doing a lot of things, you know, disrupting the Earth, the volcanoes. There's a lot of things going on. Um, and I know this is all going to come together and it will make more sense sooner or later. So just pay attention to what's going on. Um, and it's funny because I tried to look for a map yesterday of all the earthquakes that had gone on because I feel like they're going to make some kind of design or something that we will understand. Um, so again, when I say look at things and do your research, I say do a lot of it um, because I'm looking deep down into that rabbit hole just like everybody else is trying to find out what the real truth is. And as we find that out together, um, it's exciting. It's exciting. So I'm happy to be doing this with you. And I'm happy you guys have been following me on this show. Or if you just joined, I'm happy that you're here. Um, I'm happy for everybody that's ever been a part of my life. Um, and that was something that was very hard for me. So I feel like I need to bring that up a little bit too. Because I didn't always have the best upbringing, right? I, I wasn't always a happy child. There was a lot of circumstances that happened in my life that, you know, were tragic. Um, and I played victim for a very long time, probably until I was about 24 years old. Um, and then I was like, you know, I had to have this argument with God to not do that. But that helped open me up and that helped me to forgive all of my past, like all the people that have ever done me wrong or I believed 
had done me wrong. Um, I have forgiven. Okay, I have released whatever attachment I had to that, whether it was a person, place, or thing. Okay, and some of that was money too. If we go back to one of my biggest fears, that would always come up because you know I let people borrow money back in the day or whatever, and I never got that back. And I was like, you know, I have to let that go too. I just really have to let that go. So whatever it is, whatever attachment in your life that you are still going back to or that's drawing you back, let it go. It doesn't matter anymore. It really doesn't. It's not going to help you in your future. It's not going to help you move forward. It's like one of those tethers that kind of keep you from moving, right? It kind of keeps you. So we're like letting it all go. We're free. We're like, we're the waves now. So go with the flow and you're creating that flow. So this makes me so happy because we're making that flow of love, right? They want me to pull up my little joy and love paper again. Okay, so it's about joy and love. What are you creating about joy and love in your life? Um, because now is the time. Now is the time. There was has never been a more perfect time in our lives than right now for you to make the choices for you to move forward and be completely and fully supported by the universe, by God, by your higher self, by your angels, by everybody. So just don't be afraid. Just do it. Just you got this. I'm supporting you. They're supporting you. Um, and some that somebody that just freaked out that was listening because they don't their heart chakra just stop. Um, let's open that back up. Um, okay, so don't don't feel that. Just just whatever that is, we are releasing it now, so that you can move forward with that love and that grace in your heart that you so desire. Right. We also desire to have this in our lives. So now it's time for us to create it again. Master creators. We can create whatever we want, the dream life we want. And here's the other thing. We're not doing this out of ego. We're doing this out of love. We're doing this out of love, love, love. They want you to remember that, that this is all out of love. There's no ego here. There's no darkness within this space. There's, it's all about love. And it's about us creating and holding on to that vibration of love and making it bigger and higher, bringing up the frequency, bringing it up until we are all up there together, right? Because that's what 5D is all about, right? That's our new earth, right? 3D, 5D, if you want to look at it. So let's raise that vibration. Let's raise that frequency. And we do that by love. We do that by love, 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 love. Um, and you can see I even have that little sign. It's hidden behind the sun there, but it says love there. Um, so there's love everywhere, okay? So it's like creating more love in your life, creating more love for yourself, creating that self-care that you need, getting rid of those negative things, aspects of your lives that you don't need, whatever it might be, um, and creating more love and joy in your heart. So I'm excited where you guys take the rest of 2020 because it sounds like you guys are doing a great job. I feel like you guys are doing a great job and you guys should all be giving yourselves a good old pat on the back because you guys are doing a great job. Okay. And I can see it and I can feel it for each and every one of you that the, you are moving forward and you are creating and you are enjoying all these things, even with the little lessons that come along with them. You know, because there are some lessons that come along with moving forward, which is okay. We, we, I think we're all past the hard ones. Most of us. There's still some that have some hard ones to learn. Um, but the more of us light people, the more lighter we become, the less the lessons become. So become more light, become more love, become more joy. Um, I felt like I was a little fairy there. Um, so, you know, it's spread your wings and fly. You know, it's time for you to enjoy everything that you have, everything that you are, everything that you're turning into. Um, just like me being brand new, it's you brand new. What are you creating? They, they, my word of the year is gonna be create. Create, create, create. And love, love, love. Um, because it's like, you are the master creators. I don't know how many times I have to tell you guys this, but you guys have control. It's like you take out the little drawing board and you have your blank little slate, right? Oh, what are you creating now? What do you want to create now? It's blank. You're starting fresh. It could be anything you want it to be, as long as it makes you happy. Do not create any more of those things in our lives that make us unhappy. Sometimes we get into relationships that make us unhappy because we think we don't deserve more. Um, I think we're past that mentality a little bit more now. So it's like, woo, we are going for everything that we desire now um, and everything that we love. So I'm excited. 
I am. Um, so let's see, any messages? Oh, February is going to be the month of love, right? That, well, that's what we celebrate it as. Um, so it's funny, I'm talking about all this love. Let's talk about February for a little bit. So in February, I'm going to put up a little challenge that you send love to everybody every day through the month of February. Every day. I think we have 29 days this year. Is it a leap year? Um, so you guys send love. And I mean, like you uh, do something of kindness. Open the door for somebody. Just smile at them. Say hello. Um, whatever it might be. Even those people that you don't like. Send love to them. Whatever you have to do to send out love. I'm putting out that challenge for everybody in February. Yes, sir. And apparently Transformers, we are transforming. See, Christopher always brings in the extra energy. This won't go on his hand. That's all right. I'll teach you after. So it's about transforming. Can I use him for a minute? So it's about transforming our lives, right? He could be one thing, and then he transforms into another. This is very fitting, Christopher. You have no idea. So we are transforming from our old selves. Let's see. We'll put his wings all the way up. And we're turning into our new selves. He doesn't do as much as I thought. But anyways, being a transformer, what are you transforming into? Transformation. Ooh, there must be snakes going on in somebody's lives for transformation. We're pulling out of that old skin and putting on our new skin. Um, and the more we stay connected, people, it's almost like we have new skin because, because we look younger and younger all the time. It's amazing, right? Keep, keep an eye on yourself. You're probably looking younger and younger every time you tap into yourself. So enjoy that. Enjoy the youth. Enjoy it because we're going to be able to live longer through this too because we want to see all the changes that we've made I in this lifetime. Oh, yeah, you found his puffer fish. Um, so all these exciting things that are taking place in 2020 are just going to be fantastic because you guys are creating this. He's joining me at the end today. So you guys, this is Christopher. That For those of you that have not met him, he's my little angel. Um, he's here to add energy and joy and apparently the transformer today um, so that yes. you can transform he has 2020 that. into what you want it to be. Won't that be exciting? Okay, let mommy finish up. She got five minutes. Okay, so transforming your lives. Oh, oh yeah. Laura hasn't seen you since you were one. Yeah, look how big he is now. He looks kind of the same, just bigger. <laughs> yeah. So any of you that want to come to my house and have a reading, ha, he's usually here with us. <laughs> um, but anyways, moving forward, look at his beautiful blue eyes. He's like, he's like my little angel baby. Um, so the energy that's moving forward is going to help you create and transform 2020 into everything that you so desire. So the transformation is about you. The transformation is about love. The transformation is about where you, maybe you live, maybe where you work, maybe everywhere. It's about everything. Thing. and transformers are about helping so then i he's right so transformers are about helping so how can you be of service to others how can you be of service to yourself um how can you be of service of god or your universe or your creator whoever you need to call whoever they are for you everybody always has different names um so it's about you creating it and you helping right so i think that's why i threw out this kindness thing going on there in february so that you just do kind things for everybody every day so we all get in the habit of it and maybe ask your friends if they'll do it too you know because let's spread the love far and wide so we feel it all the way across this whole planet, all the way out into the multiverses from where we come from, because it's very important that we feel it everywhere, everywhere. Okay, so I'm about ready to wrap up my show, so I want to thank each and every one of you for popping in today and being a part of my show and adding to the energy, adding to the comments. Just being part of the energy is fantastic. And Christopher wants to come say goodbye, too. So let's see, exciting, February is going to be an exciting month because we have, we are still creating, right? We're still making things happen the way that we want to. Don't make a lot of noise. So there, we're still creating everything that we want to create. So I want to thank each and every one of you for tapping in today, and I'll see you in February. See you next week. I love you. Bye. Okay. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye.